package. It's been a rough two days for the people housed here. The multi-purpose center provides temporary shelter for those whose homes were destroyed. Food parcels and blankets are being distributed. To the people who get in the injury and the houses uh, falling down, uh, I, I didn't behave. I don't know what must I do because my hand is full empty. I don't have nothing now. You see, all, also I don't. I got only for one cloth. There have been heated debates over claims of poorly built RDP houses. It's shocking, you know, uh, there's been lives lost and I'm going to call for an investigation. Uh, the DA wants an investigation into which company constructed these houses, was it perhaps a corrupt contract, and this company must pay damages. That was opportunistic, that was uh, showing how cruel he is or his party is. When the people are in this kind of situation, you sympathize with them, you look for things that can help them, comfort them. You don't... Uh, blame. The MEC for Housing's assured Duduza residents building will begin next week. The township has been declared a disaster area, but it's unclear how much will be set aside to assist residents. The Department of Home Affairs has also put in measures to assist victims in both Gauteng and the Free State. It's set up mobile trucks to help those who've lost documentation. Nozin Tombi Mia, SABC News.